Good morning. Welcome to Monday. We started, we're starting off dry this morning, but last night we did pick up a little bit in the way of rain. Uh, some of that moved through right around 9 o'clock last night through the metro area, but again, things are dry right now. Uh, technically, we picked up about four, one, four hundredths of an inch of rain, that according to the airport, but when you take a look at the radar estimated precipitation, we picked up uh, close to half of an inch of rain in the metro area, also a half an inch of rain down to the south and uh, in the mountain air area, and a little bit more over toward Vaughn, a little bit more than an inch of rain there, according to the radar. I still really do need that rain. Very dry for this time of the year. Normally we're above half an inch of rain. Right now we're sitting at 12 tenths of an inch of rain. So hopefully we will see a little bit more of that move in, but it's not going to be until we get into the middle and latter part of the week. The big story today is going to be the heat once again, even hotter than it was over the weekend. We're starting off in the 60s and low 70s right now, but those temps will continue to climb very quickly once the sun, as the sun continues to come up and things really start get going out there this afternoon. So try to stay cool if you can. High pressure has been controlling our weather and keeping us mainly dry. So rain chances are slim today, but as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, high pressure is going to move to our east. That's going to allow for more of a southerly flow, bringing in that moisture, and that will put us in that more classical monsoon type of situation, which will mean a better chance for some rain Wednesday, Thursday, and hopefully into Friday, too. Here's your forecast for the northwest this afternoon. Going to be another steamy one. 102 in Farmington, 94 in Durango, so temperatures still above average for this time of the year. We will see a better chance for rain Tuesday and Wednesday in Durango uh, for the Farmington area, seeing a little bit of a better chance for rain Thursday into Friday. Cooler too, with highs in the upper 80s to around 90. In the southwest, isolated PM storms today with highs mainly in the low to mid 90s, overnight lows in the low to mid 60s. In the southeast, hot here too, with highs in the upper 90s. Roswell topping out at 99 degrees, 96 in Lovington. And 99 uh, up near the Clovis area. Going to be very hot for the next couple of days, but starts to get a little bit better, but really not until the weekend with highs in the low 90s with a chance for a few spot storms then. In the northeast, just a small chance for some scattered storms this afternoon. Expect highs in the triple digits in Clayton, 100 there, 93 in Roy, 101 in Conscious. It's going to be another scorcher this afternoon. In the northern mountains, scattered storms today with highs in the low to mid 90s, 98 though in Española. Your Santa Fe extended forecast shows a chance for a few spot storms today and tomorrow with our rain chances increasing and temperatures going down. Highs in the middle 80s, that will certainly feel nice compared to what we've had to deal with for the last several days. In the East Mountains, partly cloudy with a few spot storms today. Highs in the low to mid 90s with overnight lows in the 50s and 60s. And in the metro area, we're topping out in the triple digits, really feeling the heat here. 100 in downtown, South Valley 101, 101 in Las Lunas. So it is going to be another hot one with our rain chances on the slim side today. Just a small chance for an isolated storm. But again, it does get better. 93 on Wednesday, 89 on Thursday, 89 on Friday. And we will see that better chance for rain moving in toward the end of the week as well.